Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 20 of Direwolf20's Let's Play Not Too Complicated 2 series. You know it's one of my favorite episodes, because it's 20, and it's Direwolf20, and that's how it works out. Uh, so between episodes, I've been doing a bunch, not so much though, crafting, um, to knock out some of the applied energistic stuff we're going to need. Uh, so my plan is thus. I would like to um, get applied energistics up and running in my base today. Uh, I've got, from last episode, we made our ME controller, and in between episodes, I made everything on my to-do list. I made a ME crafting terminal, which is somewhere, actually, where is it? Well, no, I didn't put it in there. I made a bunch of cables. Where did I put my crafting table terminal? Uh, did I use it? I might have used it, actually, to make my wireless crafting terminal. That could have been it. Yeah, that's what I did. I used it. All right, well, I have to make another ME crafting terminal then. Um, but I made a disk drive. Uh, I made 10 4K storage cells, because you know 4K is kind of my favorite size of cell in Applied Energistics. Uh, I made a security terminal so that we can have a wireless access point. Uh, and I made an ME wireless crafting terminal which stores a bunch of power, currently unlinked, obviously. Uh, I've got the uh, ME controller from last episode. That means I have to recraft one of these bad boys. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Just give me a little bit of redstone and glowstone and I'll get to crafting. Um, I know I need some of these things. And then you know what I found out is ME crafting terminals need a crafting table from Better End Forge. So go into the end, find any tree. Uh, the, 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 uh, the logs are EMCable. So you can totally make like, I think it's helix tree log that I got here. I can do that, I can do this, and I have a crafting table from it. So A, easier crafting table crafting now, but also B, it has to be this one. It won't take the regular crafting table um, for the recipe. So that's uh, a thing that you should be aware of and now are. Haha, cool. Well, I need a single iron ingot, please. I'm gonna regret, I'm, I'm gonna absolutely regret getting a single iron ingot, aren't I? Probably. So there's your ME terminal, there's your ME crafting terminal, and then everybody's happy. Sweet. So I did most of that off camera. Um, other things to do now that I've got most of this covered is I would like to make um, some more terminals at some point, but we'll get there after we get this system up and running. But we definitely wanna get into pattern terminals uh, and interface terminals. And we're going to want to make an interface from Applied Energistics. And we will probably, I assume, want to make, uh, what do you want me to do? A crafting CPU. Cool, and I get a bunch of crafting units for doing that. And then a crafting monitor and a terminal interface. Yeah, so we should definitely go this route and molecular assemblers and get auto crafting going sooner than later. So quest reward wise, uh, I got a nice biometric card for doing my uh, this dude. What's really cool, what I very much appreciate is you get 128 1K ME storage components for handing in doing that. How cool is that? That's a lot, uh, actually, if you really think about it. Um, that's like a lot. It's 30 to get 10 4Ks, so that's like, you know, a lot more storage for us. We're going to have storage for days on account of just getting that quest reward. Um, and then this guy gets me a wireless booster, which is cool, which means I have a larger area of effect. Now, reminder, uh, wireless crafting terminals is its own separate mod, and it is not in the pack. I added it to the pack because it's my Let's Play series, and I can add whatever I want to it. So as a reminder, my thought process was to basically somewhere in the center here, and I didn't exactly flesh out where that center quote unquote might be, but I'm thinking like we, we plop down this ME controller and kind of go from here. Now I wouldn't mind having maybe an energy acceptor because we wanna be very efficient with our cabling with these ME controllers. Remember, the controller is very expensive. Um, the ME controller is very expensive. So, and be, because the whole, um, the whole channel system is enabled, we're going to need to maximize the sides of our ME controller to have efficiencies with regards to how many ME controllers we have to make in place, right? So we want six sides of the ME controller available to us. We don't want five sides. So what we should probably do is make a quick energy acceptor. So that shouldn't be too bad. It's just a Fluix and some iron. And then I can have an energy acceptor uh, on a cable somewhere, and that should be cool, right? I like that plan. Um, 
And then what I would like to do probably is I'd like to probably here-ish. Now, is it going to be annoying to me that my nether portal is there? I could probably just relocate it, right? I could probably just relocate the nether portal a little bit. Yeah, let's plan to relocate the nether portal a smidge. I like that idea. Oh, you know what? I had an energy acceptor down here connected, and I could probably connect all these cables. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. At some point, these are probably going to be connected to a, you know, thing, but it's all good. So we'll probably want some dense Fluix cable, or some dense uh, smart cables. What I'm going to do... Oh, I broke my stone bricks vent. That's not good. Yeah, we have to get that back in place. Where'd you go? Where, where, where are you broken from? Oh, you were here. Oh, that's going to be super annoying. That's going to be super annoying. Yeah, we're going to definitely need to change up how some things work here. Um, mostly to get our cabling and wires in. Yeah, maybe I'll move this guy over to here. How's that sound? I like that plan. Come here, Obsidian. And I think I've got you in here. Now, ideally, you're going to link back to the exact same spot you were at before. I would think it would, right? It's not going to create a new portal. It shouldn't. I'd be surprised if it did. Sir, very rude. Mr. Mosquito. Okay, so that's a little cleaner. Then we just got to deal with our vent and how we're going to circumvent. <laughs> circumvent our vent. All right, back in a sec. So I'm thinking I just go out the back for now, and then if we need to change stuff up, we can. So let's run this guy kind of along here. And if these cables eventually need to become a dense cable running in that direction, we can handle that. Maybe, should that room, that room probably should have all dense cabling running to it, I would say. Um, so let's run it kind of like this. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of keeping the top part available for potentially other things going forward, but yeah, that should be fine. And then let's get, let's get our dense cable running. Maybe instead of running over there, maybe our dense cable could, and I should probably be a little bit smarter about this being so opened up because pollution, but you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. We could have the dense cable maybe... Maybe the dense cabling can come up and like junction here. Are any of these things chimney-ish? No, I don't think so. Right, and then we could run some regular cabling and we could like split it this way. Yeah, I like that. So like you could be a split, right? And you could possibly go like some ME cabling goes this way. And we're gonna put um, facades on to make this look nicer, right? But then we can access our induction smelters and all our other machines with automation. And then we can also tap downwards to get to automation as well. So I like that plan actually quite a bit. So that's what we're going to do. And thanks to the magic of Project E, we don't have to worry too much about the costs of having so many dense cables laying around. That said, I will probably get into P2P networks once we get a little deeper into into this mod, right? Um, but yeah, long story short, you're gonna basically have six sides available to you. Cool. Um, now one of them should absolutely tap into, you know what, I could probably just run you straight up here and then we don't have to worry about our energy acceptor and now your energy acceptor that we had set up down here is charging the ME controller. That works for me, cool, cool. Um, now another thing I'd like to do is maybe we'll put, maybe we'll put crafting over in this area and we can, you know, out in that direction. Um, and maybe over here could be storage. So if we ran our dense cabling in this direction, right, um, we could, we could tap into like a storage dude. And what I want to have is the, the ability to expand, but then we'll put our 
ME drive right there, and that should flick into one channel in use. There you go. Nice. Cool. All right, perfect. So I'm going to put you guys away for a sec. I'm going to be prepared to connect all this stuff up. Now, where's all my drives? I want to have 10 free inventory slots if I can. Because I got 10 drives to put in. Oh, I also went to the nether and got more soul sand because obvious reasons. All right, so the Fluix cable can come across to here. And this is where I'll have my crafting terminal, kind of in the center of that room, right? Yeah. That's the center. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. Don't forget these are chimneys, not walls. Um, and then, yeah, it should be enough space. Sweet. Put you away. And then we have to figure out how we can connect Project E to Applied Logistics, but we'll get there. Okay, so you're going to go in there, and now you've got all the things, and that should be cool. Um, so if I access this terminal, I should have no problem doing that. Nice. All right. Uh, let's make you in my favorite mode, whatever it is. Uh, not auto search, but standard keep. All right, so storing stuff, uh, it's JEI synchronized standard keep. That's what I like to use, personally. Uh, but, you know, you do you, and I do me. That's how it works. So with that stuff set up, now let's get wireless access going. Um, so I think I had collected the quest rewards and then put them in here. So wireless booster, yes, please. That looks cool. I'm going to put most of this junk in here, by the way, now. Yeah, I don't think I need too much of you guys to not exist. Yeah, cool. And then I can basically get rid of that chest in a minute. But let's go check out um, putting in our security terminal. I might just stick that next to the ME drive that we have here. And then, you know, if we need to do more, we can do more. So you can chill. Um, you're going to get a biometric card that I think I right click and it, shift right click and it binds to me. Um, and that makes me the owner of the system, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then I can do this and it'll link it. Beautiful. Now, can I set up a control? For this guy, like a hotkey to open him, because that would be cool. Uh, let's see, is there a hotkey for this? Yeah, I remember from uh, Create Above and Beyond. I don't think there's any hotkeys for this, is there? Wah, wah, wah. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's connect up our um, access point here, and that should bring us online, and then I should be able to throw this guy in there, and he's going to use a bit of energy, but give me a 40-ish block range, and then I should, boom, have access to wireless crafting. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Can we talk about how beautiful that is? I love how beautiful that is. Uh, that is really quite nice. Now, another thing I'd like to do, um, and we probably want to set up PDPs before we set up the drawer over here, but I would like to set up a drawer system over here um, that's going to be like an external storage connector thingy. So let's do that, right? External heater. So I guess that's not what I need. Uh, bus, is it called? ME storage bus. Yeah, we're going to want one of these bad boys. Now, I would also like to see how we can integrate project E into things here. Um, that might be cool. That might be cool. We'll see. But at the very least, we have wireless crafting, which I'll take as a win, right? And we should also look at the anchors bit. Uh, there's so much to do now uh, that we have this going, right? So let's look at anchors. Um, these guys, right? Cable anchors. So we're just going to need a little bit of quartz and some iron. And we could do it with this. We could just say like, hey, make one of these guys. Oh, you actually need quartz quartz? Okay. That's fine. And some sticks. And we're going to have to figure out how to connect things, like I said. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So one of you. And then one of you. some of you. That's kind of neat. All right, good deal. Yeah, I have to figure out how to do the whole make this work with EMC stuff. And I think there's I think there's a way. There's stuff. So Project EX has a refined EMC link, 
which is the same as a personal EMC link. A personal EMC link um, is like an basic EMC link. And an EMC link, you can use this block to add EMC to your transmutation table using collectors. So basically an EMC link is a block version of this storage amount that you can hopper items into. So if you make a personal EMC link, you can hopper items into your transmutation table. There's no way to automatically insert items into your personal EMC storage with just regular Project E. This block allows you to do that. Now with the personal EMC link, you can do the same as above, but it allows you to import and export items, which is cool. In addition to that, there's the refined EMC link, which is like that, but it has one input and nine output slots designed to be used with refined storage-like systems, aka Applied Energistics 2. Uh, it also learns items from input slots, and it says work in progress, so I'm a little bit hopeful that it works, but we'll find out. And then there's a compressed refined EMC link, which is the same as the, the, the this one, uh, except that it has 54 output slots, and it's literally just six of those to craft. Now, making these guys gets a little pricey. We need some red matter blocks. Uh, red matter, not too bad, not too bad. We can absolutely make this. Uh, so it's something I might try. I don't know if we'll get to it this episode or not, but I definitely want to check it out. Uh, now, for facade -y type things, right, we're probably going to want to have... Don't I just do this? Yes. Beautiful. Let's get half a stack of them. Hooray! Network aesthetics. See? Told you I would keep things nice and tidy looking. Boom. How cool is that, right? I like it. I like that a lot, actually. Super good looking. Super good looking. And then above you, we will probably have like our standard like pattern terminal and all that other stuff that we're going to want to get to. But the point is, is that we kind of have this going now. So now let's get, I feel like I really want to get the, the, the personal EMC link thing going just to try it because that'll make crafting a lot easier. See, my problem right now is normally at this point, what I would do is I would take all my resources in my chests and dump them into the system. Uh, and we would probably set up a storage drawer system so that anything that we have a lot of, like, you know, redstone and iron and all that stuff, um, we just dump into this, you know, into storage drawers so we don't take up our disk drive usage. Even though we have a lot of disk drives, we still want to be conservative with it. Uh, the problem is now that any crafting I want to do is not going to be easily done directly in the terminal here. I need to first grab the items like redstone and whatnot. And then I don't feel like leaving redstone in the system because it should really go back into here when we're done with it. So I want to figure out how these Project E things work. So let's do that. Let's try that out, right? We'll see if we can actually pull off making uh, a refined EMC link. We'll just make the basic one, right? So we need nine personal EMC links, which is a healthy amount of red matter if you look at it. Um, personal EMC link, and then energy EMC links are with that. Okay, cool. And then we're going to need covalence dust and stone and some red matter. So let's get red matter. So we're just going to need dark matter times three, and this times six, and we can get ourselves red matter, which shouldn't be too bad. Huzzah! And by the way, that's learnable. Uh, so we can get a stack of that, no problem. Yeah, look at much EMC we have. It's hilarious. And I'm not even I'm not even farming the emeralds anymore. Like this is just from that short period of time that we farmed them in the past. Now for covalence, um, it's going to be redstone and diamond and coal. That stuff's easy enough to make. Diamond, coal, um, redstone, iron, and then uh, was it charcoal for the first tier of covalence dust? Does it have to be charcoal? I guess it does. Do we have any handy? Or do I just have to craft it? No, we have some. That's cool. Okay. So one, two, and three. And this stuff is just a crafting material that we're going to have some of going forward. Sweet. All right. And then we want some regular old stone. And then we're going to want to make an energy MC link. Sweet. Now, do I have to bind it to myself or something? It says direwolf 20 when I mouse over it, so I guess that's cool. Yeah, nice. So what this does, if we wanted to be like descriptive of what this tool is, is I'm going to put these things away real quick. Do I have a hopper handy? No, but I could probably make one real quick. 
Now, how's this work? Is it shift click? Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. I'm just remembering how, you know, you get very used to refined storage when you use it a few times in a row. And then all of a sudden you're like, now how does applied and logistics hotkeys work? So the theory is, is that you can do something like this, right? And you'll see our EMC going up. That's what I thought the project, the thing was supposed to do, but maybe it's not working, right? It doesn't say work in progress, right? To add EMC to your transmutation table using collectors. Maybe it only works for collectors. Okay. So if I made an energy collector, I think that's what it would do. Um, now, personal EMC link needs three more of these. And this one, same as basic, but allows the import and export of items. So this one is where we can import and export. Holy cow, that's a lot of things. Um, but doable, soul steel ingot, we're gonna have to look at, because I haven't done that yet. I found some eternal crystals in Better End Forge, so that's not a problem. Crystal teen, we can make, no problem. Dark matter and red matter is not a big deal. Energy condenser, we should probably look at making one of those too. That's diamond plates and ender biotite and alchemical chests. Um, all around, not terrible. Uh, let me see, how do we get soul steel? Molten soul steel is cobalt, iron, and liquid soul, which I'm assuming is just melted soul sand? Yes. So one block, two ingots of iron, and one ingot of cobalt. So let's get like a healthy-ish amount of this. Let's go with 16 of these, and then half a stack of iron, and then 16 soul sand. And then I want you off for a sec, and then I can get the ingot cast ready to roll. Okay. Let's see if this works the way I think it does. There we go. Now we're getting the soul steel. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. And we got seven blocks and one ingot's worth. Okay. Wow. That's a thing. So just give me all the blocks, okay, buddy? Uh, so with that all covered now, then the trick will be, um, let me get, did I bring home some ender biotite? I might've brought home a little bit, but I don't know if I brought home a lot. I thought I brought some home. I brought home a little bit, yes. I'm gonna go get more of that. Is there anything else I need from the end while I'm out there? So if I want a personal EMC link, it's gonna require an energy condenser mark two, um, which I should, you know and then for that it's going to need an energy condenser and for that we're going to need an alchemical chest what are you doing is energy condenser in mark two there we go mark two mark one alchemical chest and then obsidian barrel right so the rest of the stuff is easy we need ender biotite uh i think we have a bunch of eternal crystal but i'll snag some more while i'm out there in the end uh, hop graphite, not a problem. We've made that before. All right. I'll be back in a minute once I get some more ender biotite, which I can see a bunch of right in front of me, I believe. Yep. So back in a minute. Just because I can, I'm making a bunch of obsidian barrels because it's very cheap. Uh, and then I can make alchemical chests. So to get more of those, we're going to need more iron. I'm just going to make a bunch, right? Like, why not? Why wouldn't I do this? And now chemical chests, by the way, are super awesome. Like, huge amount of storage, right? Uh, but then from there, we can make uh, energy condensers, which need diamond plates, which I can make with a cast. I have to cast these? Okay. So for each energy condenser, we're going to need four of these. So we're basically going to need a stack of diamonds. I should have done 16 just to make all the numbers math out really well. I'm going to do one more, I think. Barrel. Uh, give me some more oak. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good. The reason I did 15 is it made the most sense with uh, with barrel crafting, but meh. And then you. And then you. Perfect. Cool. All right, so 16. Good to go now. And then I can get diamonds. And we're going to want to melt those into plate casts. And that should be cool.
All right, and then you all can turn into matter condensers or energy condensers, right? Oh, it needs to be in a basic crafting table? Does it ha it has to be a basic? You're killing me that it has to be in a basic crafting table. Back in a minute. Got some of this to do. Well, the good news is we don't need this chest no more. Okay. So then I should be able to make our energy condensers. 16. So remember, these guys are cool. Um, they can condense, right, and then have a target uh, EMC thingy. So what's something that has EMC that's a target? Right? And it can do that. Remember this thing? And it'll turn all the EMC, right, into, you know, whatever I target. Which is kind of neat, right? It's kind of cool. Neat little mechanic. Um, don't super need it in this pack as much, but we might at some point. Especially once we get into, like, Klein Stars and all that other cool stuff. Um, so that's nifty. So with that said, we've got energy condensers. And Mark two energy condensers, I think are faster is that how they work uh so mark two energy condensers is an elite crafting so let's see what we need here to get this all the things holy cow uh so yeah let me get all this ready so i've got my soul steel at least and we'll come back for the rest do you not convert back because i'm gonna be very upset i'm gonna be very upset you do not convert back to ingot form you're killing me smalls Killing me, I'm telling you. Killing me. All right, back in a minute, like I said. So these eternal crystals are not crystal shards. They are eternal crystals, which is crystal shards around an end crystal with ender shards. And ender shards can be sieved from... I think I've got some of these, though. Uh, that is an ore in the end. Uh, I did get some of that. I don't know where I put it. But I got some. I remember getting some. I remember getting some for sure. Where did I put them, though? That is the question. I have no idea where I put them. I know I got them, though. I remember very specifically minding ender shards in the end. Where they went is anybody's guess. So let me let me see here real quick. Uh, this, easy. Uh, this we can sieve for, but it's also, uh, an ore in the end. I can go, go mine it again. Uh, crystal teen, easy. I'm going to make all this off camera and I'll come back when I'm ready to craft it. Okay. So be right back. All right. So real quick, I'm sieving a bunch of junk <laughs> from, uh, endstone dust, which is crushed endstone twice. Um, Wow, that's a lot of quest completes. <laughs> Holy cow, what is all that? Is that all better end forge quests? I'm assuming it is. Yes. Yes, it is. The reason I'm doing all these is because I effectively wanted more of these ender shards because it just occurred to me that making this is a big task, but if I want a personal EMC link, that's great. If I want the refined EMC link, I need nine personal EMC links. So I need nine Mark II energy condensers. Whew. That's going to be a thing. I really want to try this out, though, to see how it works. So I'm going to go through the hassle of making all these things. The worst part so far has been that making... I tried putting hoppers on these quartz pedestals, and it didn't work. So I'm going to have to see if there's a way that I can automate these guys. Um, because hoppers didn't work on the side, at least. I don't know if you can insert from the bottom or the top. I'm going to play with item conduits and see. Um, but the gist was that a hopper didn't work, which is not awesome. Um, but maybe items will work better. Let's, let's find out real quick together. We're going to experiment. Um, so if I wanted, so we, I tried a hopper. And that did not work. So, can I do a chest with an export? Oh, wrong thing. I've been mining in the end to get that stuff. Did that go? I can't ever tell. There you go. So if I did that, can you insert from the bottom? Really, bro? Really, bro? Combination crafting. Maybe I could do it this way and it would be 
a little less painful with extended crafting and pedestals. Maybe that, I feel like that might be the better route to go, right? Maybe if I can automate this setup, maybe I can automate the other one. Because we're going to need a lot, right? Um, it's it's a long crafting process to, to make these things. Uh, it takes like 10 seconds or 250. So yeah, a little bit more, almost 12 seconds, 12 and a half seconds um, to craft this. And you have to manually put each one on the pedestal. So maybe combination crafting can be automated and that would be a better route to go. Um, I wasn't super ready to go this way, but I mean, in the interest of science and understanding how, how this personal EMC link thing would work. But anyway, the point is, is a big part of what I'm working towards. Well, first off, I've got enough for one. So yay for my first energy condenser, right? Um, so that's cool. What I think I'm gonna set up is maybe have a chest. You can chill here for now, Mr. Chest. This is, you know, obviously very temporary, but I wanna put all the things that are going towards making this in here. That can actually just be EMC'd for a sec. That's another one of those seed dudes. I wanna clean up my inventory so that I can sieve all this end dust and not be um, messed up with, with resources and whatnot. All right, that looks pretty good. Yeah. And you can go away and that should be good. Cool. And that's all my work in progress for the Mark II condenser. So we've got one Mark II condenser. We just have a lot more to go. So back in a minute, I want to sieve all these. And, and I made these um, netherite meshes because for ender shards, 1% chance, 2 and 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 10, 15, 3, 2, 1, 10, and 16, 15, 3, 2, 1, 10. So netherite does have a benefit for this. Um, you know, a little expensive, but you can always get more. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. All right, so cooking up some more of this crystalline pink slime ingot. Remember pink slime and grains of pesiality? Did this before for the diamond table, was it? I think that was what it was needed for. So we're going to need six of these, if my math is correct, because four of them turn into that. And then you just need a metal frame, which is just going to need some glass. And there's your crafting core. And then we're going to need four sets of these because we need eight in total. There we go. Cool. Let's go set this up, you know, over here-ish. Uh, so I'll, I don't know exactly how this needs to go, but we're going to make it similar-ish. So let's do, let's, let's make it reminiscent of the other one. And I guess we'll figure it out. Extended crafting core. Is there, is there any instructions on how this works? I assume there's, there's quests for it, but you don't want to tell me much, do you? <laughs> well, let's, uh, Let's see if we can't figure it out. So I'm gonna need uh, a lot more ghast tears and a lot more ender pearls and a lot more blaze powder. If we don't have any more blaze powder, we can always cook more up. Because remember, we have blazes for days. Give me some eyes. And then we're probably gonna need a lot more glass than we currently have. Isn't time in a bottle the best? It really is. All right, so now we're going to need a lot more end crystals. Now I didn't actually math out how many I need, but if we need eight more Mark IIs, then we're gonna need a stack of these, right? Because Mark II needs eight. We need eight more. So we need 64. So we're going to need basically a stack of end crystals. Cool. So back in a sec. Let me get the rest of this crafting done. All right. So let's see if this works. The hoppers work. So that's cool. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if this will behave itself. Hopefully this doesn't actually need line of sight to things. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you to extract, but I'm gonna say you're only allowed to extract end crystals. Mode whitelist, that works. Sweet, so if I do that, right, hopefully this will behave itself, but I do that. Now how do I get you to craft? I'm assuming you need RF, uh, so I should have some flux points that I can put maybe underneath you. Hey, that looks cool. All right, so at the very least, we now have sort of a way to automate this thing. Cool, and then I can extract, I'm gonna need to filter this for the extract, right? Um, do I need to filter you or are you smart? No, you're not smart. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna need you to also have an upgrade that says what I'm allowed to filter. I gotta figure out if there's a better piping mod. I know mechanism is in the pack, so what I'll probably wind up doing is going to mechanism pretty soon, once I can. Cool, so now he'll only extract eternal crystals, and that works, right? Yeah, buddy, that's cool. Now the problem is, is I don't have nearly enough ender shards, um, nor do I have enough crystals. Uh, I got a lot of crushed endstone here, though, so that's nice. But you could probably be a little bit faster. I'm going to go get more resources. I don't know if it's lucky, but I really like that these crystals are available right off my end teleporter here. So that's kind of cool. Boy, oh boy, does this make a mess. All right, if my math is correct, we should have enough of these eternal crystals now. I think. I think. Today I learned they stack up to 16. That is cool. And was math correct? It was. I just ran out of tick accelerating. But yeah, math was pretty correct. Look at that. Cool. And then the last one. Nice. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Good. All right, now to craft the rest of the nonsense we need. All right, if my math is correct, I think this is the last one I have to craft. Just need my hop graphite, which might be close to being ready here. I technically only need four of these, but I'm gonna make all eight because why not? Three, four. We are getting very long in this episode. I did not realize this would take so long. I should have broken this up and did this in the next episode, but you know, I spoil you guys. It's true, it's true. Sweet. So now we've got our energy condensers Mark II, which can go towards making our these guys, right? So I'll be back once I craft the nine of these that I need, right? So let's, because um, I need nine of these. So 36 EMC links is what I need to make. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of red matter too. Hopefully that's enough actually. It's enough for three. So close to that refined EMC link, so close. But we're gonna need more red matter. Uh, you know what I gotta do? Emeralds. Almost there, eight, and we just need a few more emeralds. If my math is correct. Sweet, and then you make this. All right. Finally, we can try this thing out, which is way, way late into the episode, but we're going to see what it looks like. So let's run. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to hook it up in my, in my area up here so we can play with it locally and then get a feel for how it works. And then we're going to wrap up real quick. All right. So let's figure out how this block works. First off, does it connect to the network? It does not. So it probably needs an external dude right it's refined emc link okay now it does say work in progress so i'm gonna be super upset if this thing's not at all working well i am realizing that i probably should have tested this in a single player test world before going through all the hassle of crafting this so what i'm gonna do because in my opinion 
if it's work in progress, it shouldn't have a crafting recipe. If it does absolutely nothing. I was hoping that work in progress meant like it might be a little buggy or may not be perfect. But if it does nothing, then it should have no uh, crafting recipe. So what I'm going to do is get my nine personal... I'm going to get my nine energy condensers back and my 36 red matter blocks back. Because that is a lot of resources. So 36 of you and nine Mark II energy condensers. And I will take the hit on the energy links and a little bit of red matter there. How's that? So get those back. And then Mark II matter condensers times nine. And then I'm going to void this. Cool. Um, so you guys all saw me do that on camera, so I wasn't cheating. Uh, but I got these back at least, so that's cool. So it's a little bit of a hassle. I'm bummed. I'm bummed that it doesn't work at all. I was hoping work in progress meant like maybe works a little bit, maybe a little buggy, maybe not fully implemented. I wasn't thinking work in progress meant doesn't do anything at all. But Oh well, live and learn. So we'll wrap up here. We'll come back next time. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a good way to get EMC and AE2 working together. But what I can do is effectively, if I wanted like unlimited redstone, right? What we could do is target redstone and do something like this. Um, like this and do that. Okay. With a Mark I chest. And with a Mark II chest, it's even faster, right? So if we did U and U and we targeted redstone and we did this, see how much faster that is? So we could either do this as a crafter, like insert diamond extract a bunch of redstone, or we could have like an automated thing where it just it's like an external storage bus for redstone. But we'll think about it as time goes by. Um, for now though, wrapping up point, Daryl Toy sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and, uh, you know, play around a little bit more with, now that we've got Applied Energistics going, a bunch of cool stuff. All right, all, take it easy.